Hi, welcome back. I'm Jane. I love to garden. Happy Mother's Day weekend. And for me, my birthday just a couple days ago, I am working on some planters and I'm also hardening off all of my tomatoes and dahlias and my dog is digging. <laughs> Come along. So over here, besides my dog digging and having a wonderful time digging up roots over there. So real quick, that's going to be a fire pit area. We'll get to that. I am making a planter with just foliage. I have never done this before and I am having a complete blast. So let me show you this. Potato vine, which might take over the entire world, is from a cutting. Tradescantia is from a cutting. This is a tri-colored sage. Coleus from a cutting. This glorious thing in the middle is called an angel wings. And then I bought this uh, Dichondra Silver Falls. This right here, I'm hoping to be able to keep it alive, is a pineapple mint. Some more coleus with some red spots. This is orange mint. Oh, smells so good. So I'm going to remove all these plants. Put some more dirt in here, more soil. Because I was just trying to decide what I wanted. And then I'm going to put together a couple more pots. This is a Tradescantia I got from the store. I might be able to break that apart and put it in a couple different ones. Look at this glorious Lamium. And then I just wanted to show you real quick some of these cuttings that I took over the winter. And now I can put them in pots all over my garden. So coleus generally like um, shade. So as far as this planter goes right here it is kind of mixed this is full sun this one is you know maybe part sun full sun full sun and then i've got some coleus back here that like a little more shade so i'm not sure where to put this yet and i don't want this mint to take over the world so it needs to not root in and touch soil or it will take over but it's actually an orange mint did i say that and I'm hoping it's hardy to our zone, and if it's not, then it won't come back anyway. But I had to smell my fingers. Oh, that's so good. So anyway, some more coleus over here. Look at all these different foliage. I just thought it would be so fun to put together a foliage planter I've never done before. Have you guys done this? No blooms. It's just going to look this glorious all year, all season long is what I'm hoping. I'm also working on hardening off some dahlias. This one I actually purchased. All the rest of them were started from tubers. And then I have a couple more over here next to my giant Costco bags of soil. And then over here I have some, this is a store-bought basil. And then I'm hardening off all of my tomatoes. And anything that didn't look wonderful is in the sunroom getting bigger. Here's some more tomatoes. They're in dappled shade to full shade right now while they get accustomed to being outside. I've done this. This is their third day. I want to start planting, but I don't want them to die. Let me show you one that I could probably plant today and just keep a watch on it. This is a white cherry. Look at the size of that stalk. That is beautiful. So I'm going to harden them off. Maybe put them in a grow bag or a pot and then watch it. Make sure that it doesn't get too cold at night. So I'm right by my sunroom so I can bring these back and forth, which is annoying because I have a, a back injury, but my kids can help me bring them back and forth. Here's another one that's got a pretty good sized stock. Also a white cherry. That one has a pretty good stock. This one is orange striped. Um, grape size. I'll show you a picture of that on the screen. This one has a pretty good stock. This one is uh, another white cherry. Those white cherries really did awesome for me this year. So I'm going to raise these up a little bit higher and get some soil around everything.
So I made sure to put dirt around every root ball, really good and compact. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to water it in really well. I don't want it to look brown. I'd like to make it look white again. And then I will show you what it looks like. So I need to go get ready for a Mother's Day um, dinner. So I'll continue this tomorrow or the next day. So I have a little bit of time because I'm waiting on kids to shower and get ready so we can go to the Mother's Day dinner that I'm going to. But while we wait, I'm going to throw together another pot. So these are going to be the main plants. And then I think I'm going to add, look how glorious that would be, some, what is this thing called? Potato vine. So those three. And then I have some more options. We could put green basil in there for some gorgeous scent or I could do a couple of the coleus I want this to be maybe not I was going to say I want this primarily to be a foliage plant but look at this that might be really pretty together I just changed my mom faster than I made it I don't know Those are, nope I don't want flowers I want just foliage. I want these colors to go together, but I also don't, I want some accents too. So this lamium is called Purple Dragon. And the cool thing about using perennials is you can put them in the landscape later, but look at the purple in it. Isn't that glorious? So I was thinking front and center with that one. And then this is pretty giant. If I needed to make a third one, I might split that up actually and make a third grouping of pots instead of just two. So I think I'm gonna split that up. And then I have one or two of these would be pretty along the sides. Let's see, they're all rooted together. <laughs> oh, I have to do this off camera. Look at that, all rooted. Okay, there's my trailing. Look at those roots. So that one's going to go on the side over there, I think. Ooh, it's not in soil yet, so I can't quite picture it yet, but look at this one. That's a good contrast. That can go on that side, I think. This one can go back here. And then I kind of want a filler right there. Another filler, and that's why I was thinking maybe okay let's look at this are those colors gorgeous i need some more lime green so i actually had some of these that are pretty i could put a lime green so what i'm thinking is this isn't going to get very tall the Tratus gancha so these ones might have to be on the side more than or even the back I think that might get really big back there. And then, do I like the basil? Can the basil hand up? Oh, my son scared me. He came up behind me. So this is another Tratoscantia that my sister gave me. I think I need to, to take down this one. It's just too big. And then this can trail out here. The scale's off because this is not in the dirt yet. Does lamium come down too? Or does it just fill out? Never grown lamium. So beautiful. So I do need to cut this in half, I think. And then what will that will do is bring up some of the coleus. What do you think about any of these colors, guys? Do you think any of those colors would be pretty? I don't like this. I do. I like it, but I don't know if I like it with those. Watch. Watch this. <laughs> it might take me a minute to unravel those. So I'll be right back. I'm going to unravel these and then decide if I like any of these colors in with this planter or if I already like what I have in there. Okay, I was having too much fun off camera. So what I did is I split the Chattiscantia right in half. So this is going to go in a smaller pot now. And then I divided up all of these coleus. Look at this coleus. Isn't that just awesome? Okay, so what I did 
is I put Chattiscantia in front. I put some potato vine. Here is a coleus, but I put it on its side. Squished it in on its side. So maybe it'll bush out more instead of taking over the Chattiscantia over here. This one's going to kind of come over. And then I have a plethora of different types of coleus. I actually ended up really liking that one because it had a little more contrast. So nothing's really planted in yet. I've got to, I'm going to groom up the basil a little bit, the one leggy ones. So the basil should get pretty good sized. I don't know if, how big the lamium's going to grow, but I'm hoping these guys will spill and this one will puff out maybe or puff up. Coleus, 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 and then another of that same color. Do I want this one over there? Or do I want the dark one? Look at this thing. Should I put it in both? Or should I put it in a different one? One is good. Okay, let me get some soil packed around the root balls and then water it in. And then I'll work on the third one if I have time. Otherwise, I'm out of here. Look at this. Look at this. Look at the root ball on that. That should be pretty good. So I'm going to try to get them in there pretty good. Hopefully. Same with these guys. I love that pop of chartreuse. I'm going to take these and trim them down and maybe give them to my rabbits. Here's another one. So the reason I'm giving these coleus a lot of room so they don't look glorious maybe right now, but they're going to get big. And these might actually be my thriller in this pot because I was thinking this would be. And I don't know if that's going to grow up more than out. So I think the coleus are going to go up and those are going to be my thriller. So I think I got my second one done. All right, I'm having too much fun. I just put another one together. So what I'm doing right now is I'm tearing these roots apart. And I want this pretty Tratoscantia. There's several here, so maybe I'll take that one off. Okay. What I'm trying to do, I'll put that one back where it needs to go, is I'm going to add this beautiful Tratoscantia to the front. Okay, so i got two pots here, if you can see what I'm doing. This is the pot over here, this side that I just put together. It has all these beautiful things. And then I found another pot. This one has a little bit of texture, but it's really fun. And then I was like, well, I'm going to put this together real fast too. I might have to go plant shopping because I need something right here. Like maybe a second lamium. Wouldn't that be beautiful? And then they could match. Not super matchy matchy, but they could be glorious together. And then I have the one that I did recently. But I want to show you how to water in. So we're going to do it over on this side. Pots. So you are going to go to town with the water. It's going to bubble. It's going to be so filled up. Let's see if this makes more sense. So without having it go over the edge, watch. See how it's got some bubbles in there? Let me see. Right here, let's try this one. You're going to fill it up until it bubbles and then it's going to go back down and what's this what this is doing is it's getting rid of the all these pockets air pockets and it's making it go all around the roots and then all the way down so i'm going to go through two of these jugs gallon jugs okay into this pot and it's going to go i have it in a saucer here and then in a few minutes, I'm going to, to um, drain the saucer. And then I will be doing that maybe a couple more times. And then I'm going to add some more soil to the top, kind of firm it down, make sure everything is getting rid of the air pockets. This one needs to go a lot lower. And for the next couple days, I will be checking on the water. I live in a desert, so... I have to really make sure I got everything nice and watered. This one I'm still going to do the same thing too, but I don't have a saucer under it, so I'm not going to do it right this minute. And I have to be on the look for a really pretty lamium, I think. 
or a different pretty flower that kind of ties it all together. As soon as it kind of settles, I am going to add some more soil on the top. See like this one right here, see how much soil I still need to add around all this? So I'm going to go grab some soil and kind of pack it in there, and I'll show you that on camera. So there is a hole right here because when I put the water in there, everything's settled. So I'm just going to take some more of this potting soil and kind of just go around the roots and pack it in. And then around these guys, there's a hole too. And make everything nice and snug. And then I can pick up the water back again and get it in there until it's all nice and packed around the roof. So I live in Utah. I'm in a desert. Containers dry out really fast. So I'm hoping I can put this one in a little more protection. It's not going to be full sun. I think it's going to be on my patio where it's part sun. So look at this. I still have, if you come in here, I still have that root ball way up high. So I might start, I might push it in deeper, but I'm going to also give more soil to right there. I hope that helps you guys. Okay, two. I'm, next step, I'm going to trim down these leggy, I'm going to do it with my fingers. I was going to go get a, but you can just trim them down with your fingers. They're too leggy. That one's too leggy too. So these will go to the rabbits. And hopefully these basil will, will give me a good height here. And then all the coleus in the back are supposed to give me a good height too. So I just did this second, I guess this is third pot. Put some water in it, but it is draining so slow. Do you see how that water stain? So I do not have a good enough drainage in this pot. So I'm going to have to get a hole into this real quick make sure it's a nice big hole because I don't want my roots to completely rot. So I just, sorry, I'm talking so slow because I'm thinking about what I want here. I think I want another lamium and they'll be kind of matchy matchy. Or let's come over here where I put the other two. It's not special yet. It's going to be special. Or should I get another one of these and put that there so that all three of them kind of are cohesive. Oh man, I gotta go back to IFA. This is love. Oh. <laughs> Maybe not the most safe, but they're getting me drainage. There was no hole in it at all. Like, duh. Hi, hi, hi. So, see. so people, Indeed. before you fill your pots, make sure you have drainage holes. Thanks, guys. So I made one large and two medium, and I can't stop. <laughs> So this one is a square, so it'll go on the other side of the patio. I've got the Dahlia, hi baby, back there with the knockdown chair. That one is honey. Okay, over here I have Tritoscantia, Tritoscantia, and a whole bunch of different coleus. And then this one is a potato vine, and I needed something back here. And I forgot that I made, I made a whole bunch of basil cuttings inside. So I am going to put some basil in there. Let's see. Hopefully this works well. Put one, two, or three. And then that should be a good height over here of lime green. I would love to get some more silver to fill this out. So, I, you know, <laughs> I love this. I love it. I love it, love it, love it. I need something to match the silvery tones. I got the four done. Let me show you the biggest one first. This is a couple days later, so we I think we lost the basil in some of these. But look how pretty. Isn't that beautiful? There's one. Here's one of the side ones. We got some tree seeds. See the basil's not bouncing back very well. And then over here. That lamium. This basil looks a lot better. And then this one needs some help. But we've got a glorious dahlia. Um, 
I'm going to keep these in dappled shade and keep watering them. And then they're going to go to the front patio in maybe about a week, a couple days. That was way too much fun. Mm -hmm.